Hey everybody, welcome to Pizza and Pasta with the Poos. Wearing my green today for St. Patty's Day, so I'd like to wish everyone a happy St. Patty's Day. We're getting ready to start a fire to make some pizzas. And I got a special pizza going today. Hello everybody, we are ready to make some pizza. Fire is going, the oven is really hot. How do you like this shirt? Anyway, let's get a dough. Look at this beautiful dough here, huh? Looks good, huh? A little bit of flour on it. Now this one here, is a New York style pizza dough, which I'm gonna be cooking inside a wood fire oven. So it's not a typical way to do it, but the flavor is outstanding. So let's start. Oh yeah, this dough is pretty good, I think. Now these are going to be small pizzas, maybe about 12 inches. Get some of that flour off of there. So you don't want the dough too thin or else it'll break, you know? Let's add some sauce. And I have a special pizza that I'm gonna be making after this one. Uh, throw some Pecorino Romano. It's the best cheese you can get. I like it so much better than the uh, Parmesan. The, the, the Romano, much better flavor, I think. We got some cubed up fresh mozzarella. Fire's still looking good. It was too hot, so I wanted to keep the door open on it. Get this on a paddle and get it in the oven. You always want to put a little flour on your board. That way it doesn't stick. And you do it like this, you can just slide it over. Look at that. Now, what you can do is once it's on the board, you can even stretch it out a little more. All right. Make sure, make sure the wiggles in. All right, now with this oven, it's really hot. So you gotta really watch it, the dough, the pizza. Cause it cooks really, really fast. wind here in Vegas. <laughs> but it 
Those cook really quick. Another piece of wood. Looks about done. How does that look? Looks pretty good, huh? Alright. Okay, now we are about ready to make that special pizza. Let's get another dough. So how's everybody doing, okay? I'm just getting this pizza here stretched out and ready to go. How you doing? This is Apu's again. Uh, I don't know what happened to the one video. I lost it, though, of the special pizza. I did take a picture of the finished product, though, which I will show during this video. I apologize. Something went wrong with my phone, the camera. It stopped recording for some reason. But anyway, I'm doing the best I can. Maybe one day I'll get better. One more pizza now. I don't know if the uh, special pizza came out on the video or not. I hope it did. And this is just going to be another regular cheese pizza. The reason you slap this like this, one, it's going to loosen it up a little bit. And two, it gets all the flour off it. You don't want to cook too much flour. Because that's the, uh, that burns. And it doesn't taste too good, burnt flour. Ah, this is a tough dough. 
I thought it was better than it was, but... I made this yesterday. Still pretty good though, the dough. I like it. I got the good tomatoes here, the, the, the muti, if you can. Any store that carries them, Muti, M U T T I. Great, great canned tomato. You know, unless you do them yourself, unless you grow them yourself and can them yourself, I don't think you're going to get better. That's my opinion, though. But I really, I really like them a lot. Very glad I found multi tomatoes from Italy. Im imported from Italy. So. Again, a little bit of flour. Slide it, stretch it a little more. Maybe even use a little more. Mozzarella. Make sure it slides on the peel. One shot. Almost one shot. <laughs> and that's going to be the last pizza, so. We're going to start packing everything up. This is, I like how it's browning on the outside. It's, it means it fermented for a good amount of time. Like I said, I made this dough yesterday. So I let it sit in the fridge for the whole, you know, for about 20 hours, 24 hours. The sugar in the dough. I can see those leopard spots. Bop, 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 bop. That means it's a pretty good dough. I wish you had smell of vision. Down, we'll get back at you. 